Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for hitting that button and watching this video. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, if you'd hit that like button and leave a comment down below, both of those things do really help my channel. They tell YouTube that you're enjoying my content and they will then in turn push the stuff out. So, Today for you I have a Dollar Tree haul and I'm so so excited to share it. I feel like it's been a long time since I've been in front of the camera. I apologize for the long break. I have been trying to get ready for this party that my husband still doesn't know about. Like I cannot believe that I've kept this a surprise as long as I have, but we're almost there. So today is Monday and tomorrow is the first and it is my husband's actual birthday. So tomorrow is his actual birthday. But then on Saturday the 5th, I am throwing him a surprise birthday party. If you're new here, it is going to be Johnny Cash Man in Black themed. And I've been working to be secretively getting it all planned and bought and all that. I still don't have a full plan on how to get him out of the house while I decorate, but it'll all come together, I'm sure of it. And so I have a few things in my haul today. Funny thing, my cousin actually texted me over the weekend and she said like, how does he not know? Doesn't he have access to your channel? And he does, he just doesn't watch it. He says he sees the stuff in the house. He doesn't need to watch me um, show it on my YouTube channel. So that has been fortunate that right now he doesn't watch it. Otherwise I couldn't be hauling all the stuff that I've gotten for his party. So um, I think the stuff for his party is actually in the bottom of the bag, but I will get there eventually. As of right now, I just have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. So. My new setup means my tripod is on my table and so I do my best not bumping the table because that will wiggle you guys a little bit. If it happens at all, I just want to apologize at the beginning because I'm trying not to bump the table. My first thing I picked up is this. So this came from the Dollar Tree Plus section. This wasn't a dollar. This was five dollars. The, yeah, the price tags inside. And I thought it was so cute. So it says, meet me at the carrot patch organic farm fresh the little truck says little bunny carrot garden you pick fresh daily and it's just got the the truck and the carrots and this color which obviously matches my regular color in my house and so i had to have it for the five dollars this is one of those things that in the plus section I think is beyond worth the five dollars like I think it's worth more than five dollars and so it was so worth it and then if you flip it to the other side it's got like a black chalkboard like base so you can put anything you want on the other side and then that so I can't wait to put this out for Easter I will start decorating for Easter right after St. Patrick's Day so I usually do decorate for St. Patrick's Day and it's usually up by now. This tree doesn't have anything on it because one, it's getting moved to its regular spot and I'm waiting for after the party before I decorate for St. Patty's Day because I just want to decorate for the birthday party first. Um, I picked this up, speaking of St. Patrick's Day, and I just planned to get some yarn and I didn't find a green that I liked, but I plan to find some yarn and wrap it in yarn and just use it as a clover that way. But I thought it was a neat base. I mean, to be 100% honest, you could just leave it like this up against the wall. It's hard to see with all the patterns going on, but I think that this would be fine, like just like this, but I think I wanna wrap it in yarn if I find the right color yarn to wrap it in. I picked up, I'm not gonna pull them all out. I picked up 10 of these. So my best friend, as I mentioned, she is collaborating with me for my giveaway for my 1500 subscribers. Not ready yet to announce it today, hopefully soon, but she does wood forging and so where she'll forge things on wood and she wanted some of these as some of her blanks for her business. And they have been kind of hard to come by, like they're hit or miss. And the store I went to, if I remember, and no promises, I'll put a picture up, but the store probably had over a hundred of them on the shelf so I picked up 10 for her and it honestly didn't even make a dent with the 10 so it's probably closer to 200 on the shelf of these and so she wanted some they literally had them so I picked up 10 of them for her for her business and then again in the Dollar Tree Try not to bump the table. In the Dollar Tree Plus section, I picked up this big cutting board, also with plans for her to forge it. 100% honesty, this is for the giveaway that I'm going to be personalizing for my 1500 subscriber giveaway. And I was going to do a small one, but then when I found the big ones at the Dollar Tree Plus, I thought that this was absolutely what I needed to do instead. And so, more information on that 
is coming, just not today. And plus I have this birthday party, so it'll be nice to worry about that after the party. So a couple, I would say food finds, but drink finds that I found are, I found some black tea. They are unsweetened tea, but flavored, so I'm excited to try them. It is the Tevia Java Tea Java Tea Java brand, and so this one is raspberry. This one is peach. So they literally are zero everything. There's nothing in them, and it says that it, the ingredients are brew tea and natural flavors. So zero sugar and I like black tea. I drink tea unsweetened already anyway, just black tea. So it'll be nice to have like a little bit of a flavor in there without the artificial sweetener. I'm excited to try those. And if I like them, I'm gonna go back and get more. And then I also found some Premier Proteins. And so if you're following me on my health journey on my other channel, Amber's Losing It WW, also link down below if you're interested in that at all. I'm doing Weight Watchers and these are either two or three points. I didn't actually scan these ones to see, but I love the strawberry flavor of Premier Protein. And I picked up four of them. When you buy them in store, the best price you typically are gonna get them at is like $7.99 or $7.49 for a, a set of four, for a pack of four. And so, for four for five dollars, that's a killer deal. It's like better than any other prices I typically find. Um, I just ordered some on Amazon and they were two dollars each. I got a 12 pack and it was $24. And that was of the cake batter flavor, which is delicious. So I picked up four of those just to have for when I want a different flavored shake. I have actually quite a few of the different flavors of these right now, but those are the ones that look good because they had them there for a really good price. All right, now I have this nice big bag. It is totally full, as you can see from the top, that I'm going to work out of. I have mentioned on here a couple times that we are planning or we are going on a trip to Costa Rica this summer as a family. And I thought that these would be good beach bags when we go to Costa Rica because it is mesh. And like if you have sand and stuff, like a lot of that sand is going to come out of them. And so I picked these up for that trip. I only got two. I don't honestly think we even need more than two, but if I find something like in a pink, I'll get a third one for Lorelei and the two boys can have the blue ones. This was the only color I saw when I grabbed them, but I will keep an eye out for other colors just to have variety and I can get one for Lorelei or we can all just share that. I mean, either way is fine. Um, I picked up these cute little card games. I've been seeing them and I finally grabbed them. I think that they're super cute. So the first one is called Burger Pile Up. And it looks like a number game because it has like different ingredients that you would find on a cheeseburger and they all have a number on them. And so the first player to get 10 numbered burger toppings from lowest to highest wins. Okay, so it's like a number game, so that's cool. I thought um, the kids would probably get a kick out of that. It says it's for ages six up and two to four players on that one. And then this one was really cute too. So this one is called Barking Chicken. It says it is a mix up charade game. So players take turns drawing the cards, different animal heads and tails, and then acting them out while everyone has to guess what animal combination they are. Get ready for lots of laughs and hours of fun. So that one looked really cute too. So this one is two or more players, and it doesn't give an age on this one, but I mean, I would assume probably six, oh, three plus. This is in the corner, three and up. So the kids like to play games. I thought that they'd get a kick out of those. Also for the kids, I finally found these fidgets. I was looking, I like to pick up the fidgets. I have like a, a bin of gifts for like, if I need to do a gift basket for a family, like a niece, a nephew, a kid, one of the kids' friends, something like that. So I like to have all these kinds of things in there. And so these were the zipper fidgets. And so I grabbed a couple of those. I don't know if my kids would like those or not. I mean, they probably would, right? Because everyone likes fidgets. And they each come with two in there, I think. Oh, three, three pieces in each. So I grabbed those because I finally came across them in my store. I also picked these up. I thought they were really cute. So these are micro launchers. Um, they are by Greenbrier. It says, warning, do not aim at eyes or face. Um, so you set them on the ground. You stick like the little die cast. These are actually little die cast cars. And they look like little micro machines, if you remember micro machines. You put them in the launcher and then you race them. 
and I thought that those were really cute. So I got the two different sets that I saw, and so it says it's four pieces in each, so you get like the finish line, the launcher, and two little cars in each set. And so, yeah, I thought those are really cute. So I picked those up. I don't know if they're for my kids, if they're for the gift bin. Either way, I mean, they're cute. In the book section, I picked this up. It says, The Most Wonderful Friend I'll Ever Know. And in the store, I did just skim it. And so it says, The To and From in the front. And it's got, like, a lot of friendship quotes in it. And then it also has, like work that you would put in there so it says I can always count on you too this would be perfect if like you have a friend who words of affirmation and that kind of thing is like their love language it says I always promise to and then you put a little note there so you make it really personalized a moment that I'll always cherish and so I thought about doing this for my best friend because why you're precious to me Oh, and it says best friends are like diamonds, precious and rare. False friends are like leaves found everywhere. And so, I don't know, I thought it was really sweet. And I want to do something like this for my best friend. So, I picked it up because I thought it was like a very, very sweet little book to do. Um, name brand, I have been searching for these Made Smart, Made Smart items. This is the only thing I've come across so far. And I got one, two, three, four, five. I, this was honestly all of them that they had left. These little um, like drawer, I assume you put them in the drawer and you put stuff in them. I need to organize all my drawers, all my stuff's falling apart. And so I thought these might be nice to redo my kitchen drawers. And they're a nice dark gray color. I'm still looking for like the sink sponge holder thing. And I know I've seen people hauling and taking pictures of numerous different items from this brand that they're finding at Dollar Tree so I'm still looking but these are the ones I found so far and I was really excited to find them. What else? So speaking of my husband's surprise party I am making an album cupcake stand uh, like a tier tray with albums and I bought the kit to do so but I wanted it to have a base I didn't want it just to sit flat with the album and so I picked up these they are two pack meal prep containers with lids but what I was kind of anticipating, if I flip this upside down like this and put the first album on top and then the tear tray, this just gives it a little bit of lift and a base at the bottom so that it just makes it a little bit more substantial. And so I picked these up. I don't know what the smaller one looks like and I don't know if I'll use the bigger one or smaller one. I haven't put it together yet because then I have to hide it. It's easier to hide it all separated than hide it all together from my husband. So. I'll be doing that this week, but I have not put it together yet. Oh, they're the same size. Okay, I didn't know if it was one bigger, one smaller, but they're the same size. And then one reason I went with this is it's already black. I don't have to spray paint it because if I, we have a doorbell um, camera. So if I go out like where I usually spray paint, spray paint stuff and I start spray painting things, my husband's going to be like, what you doing? And I don't want to have to tell him. So, and it's like got the nice shine, like the vinyl records. So I think that that'll be really nice and have the record on top and it'll be, yeah. So that's what I'm doing with at least one of these. And then I'm, so I got them, I ordered cupcakes and a cake. And so I was thinking I'm going to do the cupcakes on that tier tray that I'm making. And then I was thinking about making more of a cake tray with one of the albums. And maybe that's what I'll do is I'll use the second one. It won't be super high up, but it'll be sturdy enough to hold a cake. I mean, it's just a small cake. I think it was a six inch cake, but I got German chocolate because that's his favorite. And so I think that that's what I'll do is I'll do the tear tray with the cupcakes and do like a little cake tray with the other one for his cake and do it that way. This was intriguing to me, so I picked it up. So this is Clean Feet. It says that it is an exfoliating mask, foot mask, exfoliating foot treatment mask. Peels away calluses and dead skin cells, softens cracked heels, dry feet, exfoliates, moisturizes, convenient wearable mask socks. And I hadn't seen these. They're cruelty free, distributed by Global Beauty Care. You get three pairs in there, but it says not to do more than once per month, if I remember correctly. So it's intriguing, but also scary to me. So you put this on your feet and then you wait four to seven days and then like everything starts peeling. And so I don't know how to feel about that. Has you, has you, has anyone ever tried these before? What did you think? They also had a moisturizing one, which I should have picked up. I'll keep an eye out for the other sets. And I think there's, 
hydrating and moisturizing. I don't know. There was other ones I think that I've seen around, but I don't know. I was curious and intrigued, so I grabbed it. So let me know if you've ever done that and like what is it like when you start peeling because that seems interesting. I found another type of Jojo bow. So I found one a while back. They were kind of hard and glittery. I gave it to my daughter for Valentine's Day. And then I haven't seen any Jojo bows since then, but I found these ones and they are so Easter to me. So it's, I mean, pastel and plaid and just adorable. And so I got one for her probably for Easter. It'll probably go in her Easter basket. Which, it's funny that I buy her these things, but she never, she's a scrunchy girl right now. She hasn't been bows. So maybe I'll think. So two baby nieces. These are also too big for my baby nieces as well, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. But they're adorable. Let's see, does this one have the price on it? So I grabbed three because I was thinking of my nieces and my daughter when I picked them up. But now as I think out loud, I don't know. I don't think these have a price on them. The last one I think was like four or five dollars was its original price, but this one doesn't have it on there. And it's got little rhinestones right there in the middle too. So super cute. I don't know where the other one is, but I did pick up three of them. I think it might have ended up right in my trunk. I picked up these rainbow sugar pearls. I don't know how to say that. Arc. Arcoyus. Basically, they're sprinkles. And those colors just call to me. They are so pretty. And so I think what we will do is do some sort of cupcakes around Easter time. And I'll let the kids bake. And then we can decorate with these. Because I thought these were just gorgeous sprinkles. So I had to pick them up. There was um, lavender ones there too that were really pretty. There was just dark chocolate, so they were brown and chocolate flavored there as well. But those ones spoke to me, so I picked them up. This was new to me. I hadn't seen this before, and they had a few of them, and I picked it up. And so I wanted to pick up more, because my thought was, so if you haven't heard a few several hauls back now I mentioned. So my husband and I, we are married. We got married in Las Vegas. It was more kind of eloping than like having like a full-fledged wedding. Like it happened pretty fast, but we are going to have like our, my big dream wedding on our five-year anniversary, which is in about two years, just over two years. And I want to do like, you know, bridesmaids gifts and groomsmen's gifts and all that. And I thought these would be perfect in like a shaving kit for the groomsmen, but then I was like, well, that's still two years away, though, so I didn't want to buy them right now. So hopefully they still have something like this then. So what this is, it's called Memphis Reserve, and this is by MCP Incorporated. Um, it's petroleum-free, sulfate-free, paraben-free. Say goodbye to tight, uncomfortable skin with Sterling Men's Facial Hydrator. Give blackheads, blemishes and bumps the boot with a healthy moisturizer that gives stylish gentlemen the perfect finishing touch. Um, and so it says invigorate your face and neck any time of day or before or after you shave, you leave on or rinse off with a hot towel to have that fresh from the barber shop feel. And so yeah, it's a men's facial hydrator, Parti par particularly well suited for stylish gentlemen. So I thought that was neat. It's not sealed on the inside, but you can tell that it's like brand new and not touched. It just has like a manly clean smell to it. And I thought those were really neat. So I really honestly, my husband won't use this. So I picked it up to share it with you guys more than anything. And because like I said, I wanted it so bad for those little kits, like little shaving kits I want to give to the groomsmen. But I feel like it's too soon to pick something like that up because I don't know if it'll expire between now and then. Um, so I'll find someone to give that to. I picked up some cards. So they are all like husband happy birthday cards. I have four, three. I picked up three of them because just like I did for Valentine's Day, I love cards. Like I love cards. And so like I'll have one ready for him in the morning and then like I'll put one for when he gets home. And also, so his birthday is tomorrow. So I want to make sure to have them to give them to him tomorrow but then his birthday party will be on Saturday, so I might try to have one for him on Saturday too, but 
So I got their cards. These ones were the ones I believe that were 50 cents each because the cards are still two for a dollar or a dollar depending on which ones you find. I picked up these tattoos um, just to put in my little gift bin for the kids. They reminded me of Braxton. He's been all into cars lately and I don't know if I'll give them to him or someone else eventually but this is something that's just really neat to keep to the side to add into little gifts for boys. Um, so that's why I picked it up. There's 25 tattoos in here made in the USA. So I thought those were neat. I picked up three black frames, eight by sevens, because I plan to print out some pictures of Johnny Cash and put them in here for decor for the birthday party. And um, I'm actually out of printer ink, so my best friend is gonna print them for me, which reminds me I need to get on that about which ones I want her to print. So I thought that it was just a really easy, inexpensive way to do a Johnny Cash decor is print out some pictures. I don't know if they'll be iconic album ones or whatnot, but um, there's that really famous one of him flipping off the camera. I don't know. I don't know which one I'm going to do or which three I'm going to do yet. But that's why I picked up some frames are for the birthday party. I found this. I think it is adorable. I thought that this would be really cute in the center of a wreath. And um, spoiler alert, if and when I share, um, I went to the thrift store and I got a made with Dollar Tree items, I can tell because I know Dollar Tree items, wreath that was made by somebody else. But it was only like $5 and I didn't have to do the work. So I picked it up and I thought I would paint this to kind of correlate with that wreath and just put it in the middle because P is our initial for our last name. And I just thought that that was really cute. And I just saw it and I just thought of the center of a wreath with it as a way to, you know, add your initial into the center of a wreath. So I picked it up. Oh, this is an exciting find. I was so excited about these. So I know that there's been some makeup brushes going around and I keep finding ones that I'm like, like lip brushes. I use lip gloss for the most part and chapsticks. I don't need like lipstick brushes, but I found foundation brushes by this Kala, Kayla Kala Studios. Um, and so they are distributed by Kala Products made in China. And I found these foundation brushes. So they're perfect to apply cream or liquid makeup, soft tapered for seamless blending. And so I use a liquid to powder type foundation, so it's not a full liquid, it's like thick in a, in a um, compact. And I like to put it on with a brush because I just feel like I get it on better that way. And so I was really excited to find these for only a dollar 25 because we are $1.25, but I thought that was a killer deal. And I, like I said, I just haven't been finding the good brushes that I see other people find, so I was really excited for that one. I have my pups in mind, so I grabbed them some more of these. They've had these already, and they enjoyed them. And so I picked up another set or batch. They don't expire until June of 2023. These ones are for small dogs under 20 pounds. My dogs are, let's see, Gertrude is probably eight to nine pounds maybe maybe ten maybe and ethel is a good four or five pounds so having little treats is important for them and so i got those oh and they are with bacon and then um shauna ray shauna ray's vlogs why is that so shauna ray's vlogs she picked these up for her pup jelly bean and i was like oh i should like keep an eye out for those so they're minties this is for all dog sizes. It's to clean teeth and fresh breath. And so I picked these up. I'm gonna see if I can break it in half and give them each half. Because like I said, they're so small, uh, my pups. But I thought that that was a good deal. Like instead of greenies, they're minties and good for their teeth. And my last item for the party, I picked up this plasticware, silverware. I got two sets of just forks. I thought these were nice. So silver and black is the color scheme I'm going for. And these ones just seem like they're a nicer quality. I, I don't even know. I'm doing like a sandwich tray. I might do some like salads and stuff. So I don't know exactly what I need silverware for because I haven't fully dialed in the menu yet. I need to go to Walmart and order like party trays still. But um, I picked these up. So there'll be 24 forks. And then thinking about possibly like needing knives to like spread um, like mayo and like mayo or mustard on sandwiches. I picked this set up. So this one is a 12 
P 12 piece set. So you get four of each of four more forks, four spoons, and four knives. And I also have some just plain silver plasticware to the side too, so I'll have that just in case this isn't enough. So guys, that is it. That's my Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so, so much for being here with me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you had a wonderful week last week, a great weekend. I miss you guys when I go too long without talking to you. I have more stuff that I just didn't pull out quite yet, so I should have another haul later this week, and then I should do like a vlog style for you guys um, once I get the party all set up so that you can see my husband's Johnny Cash party that I put together. Like I said, he still doesn't know. I am a terrible liar. I'm terrible at not telling him things, but I'm also really excited to surprise him, so we'll see how all that goes. And I will see you guys next time. You have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, a great Monday, and a wonderful week. Bye, guys.